uh, one thing with back to defense, we want to kind of protect our barrier, right? Um, and make sure that we get behind Mr. Kern Price. Um, I was here in the very beginning when we first opened um, Shepherd's Nest, and he was here full board with us all, talking to us, making sure we understood everything. And Mr. Price, we just want to say thank you. And here at Back to Defense, we're behind you 110%. Part of our thing is bringing back the handshake and protecting this community of the new 9th District and make sure that we do everything that we possibly can to support you. I'm just happy to be here with my partner Craig and the Back to Defense team to support this uh, wonderful community. Um, and I think ultimately what uh, all humanity would be better to understand is that this is a collaborative effort. You know, if we're really all going to make it, we all need to work together. And we're committed to uh, Mr. Kern Price and his, his efforts for the new 9th District. And we are just happy to be supportive. Thank you. Born and raised in South Los Angeles, Kern D. Price Jr was elected to represent the 9th District Council of Los Angeles on July 1st, 2013. Price has earned a reputation for being a strong supporter of small and minority business owners and economic development, as well as being a dedicated advocate for working families. Since his term in office, Price has managed to increase core services to the community tackling blight in the area with a targeted clean and green initiative and expanded much needed green space in the area. The continuing effort to drive hotel incentive policies, raising the minimum wage to a sustainable level and creating policy initiatives to legalize street vending. They gotta make a living and it serves our community, amen? Proud residents of the new night. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet. Put your hands together as we welcome right, our councilman, the Honorable Curran D. Price. You know, we know that uh, there's, some, there's some obstacles in it, but there's some also some opportunities. We also uh, just shout out to our, our sponsors. We've heard uh, certainly a very important uh, prayer from uh, Dr. Noble, uh, but the contributions from uh, Talese uh, Middleton uh, from the uh, Inland News and, and Craig and partner from Back D Defense and, and uh, Lynn and Yolanda. Uh, Lynn kind of wears two hats, of course, from Marathon uh, and the, uh, the Association of Living and Construction. And Yolanda, we appreciate uh, your unique role in, in making that happen uh, as well. We are all in this together, and the challenges uh, that we that we face really call for us to uh, leverage limited resources and to really be a blessing, uh, a blessing to others. And so uh, that's why I'm glad and I'm proud to be here, and why I'm running for re-election. You know, I, I ran uh, initially back in '93 to serve, you know, to meet the needs, to uh, address concerns of underserved, and that still is my number one priority. You know, before it was a problem just in Skid Row. Then it was a problem in Skid Row and maybe CD None. Now it's a problem where? All over the city. You see in Camas. You see people living uh, by the freeways. You see people living in cars. We have an increasing number of folks that are living in families, in cars. You know, we have safe parking where people can can uh, park overnight, uh, be safe, you know, get a shower, get refreshed, uh, but provide some, but, ha but have some help. And so we see uh, that increasingly. And so uh, I'm proud that we are, are trying to address this problem, this homelessness problem. But I'm most proud, I'm most proud of my proposal to create what we call a universal basic income program in our city. And uh, I propose that we uh, take $6 million, at the time it was the largest program like that, $6 million then to provide 500, 500 of our poorest residents, single parents, a dad raising the 
kids or mom raising the kids or the grandparents raising the kids to pick these families, 500 of them, and to give them $1,000 a month for a year. No strings attached. Certainly here in CD9, we want to create an atmosphere where people can live, can work, can play, and can pray to make things better. So thank you, and I look forward to working with you.